The 16th hole at Cypress Point is one of the most iconic and difficult par threes in the entire world. Measuring 233 yards, it forces a long carry over a Pacific Ocean inlet to a rocky crag beyond. And it's often into the wind too. In fact, it took Ben Hogan, Byron Nelson, Ken Venturi, and Harvey Ward, all four of them, well hit drivers in their match in 1956 just to reach the green. But its design, or how it came to be, is a fascinating story in of itself. Stay tuned. Original architect Seth Rayner's passing due to pneumonia paved the way for Alistair McKenzie, who went on to build Augusta National, to take over the project in 1925. In his book, The Spirit of St. Andrews, McKenzie wrote, I must say that except for the minor details in construction, I was in no way responsible for the whole. It was largely due to the vision of Miss Marion Hollins. Wait, who? Raised on a farm in Long Island, Marion Hollins became a dynamo in both sports and business. After winning the 1921 U.S. Amateur, she went to work for Samuel Morse. Now the story is that the original architect, Raynor, lamented that a golf hole could not be constructed where the 16th hole eventually sat, because the ocean carry would simply be too difficult for most male golfers. Unfazed, Marion dropped down a Haskell golf ball and whacked it clear over the chasm exactly where she envisioned the green. Then, by a lucky fluke, Hollins ended up playing with Bobby Jones on opening day at Pasatiempo, her latest project which is still listed as a top 100 course. This relationship became critical to the naming of Alistair McKenzie as the designer of Augusta National Golf Club. McKenzie appointed Hollins later on to supervise the project. Bobby Jones' partner, Clifford Jones, was very skeptical of the choice, to which McKenzie retorted, I do not know of any man with sounder ideas. Ill fortune hit Marion over the remainder of her life as the stock market crash of 1929 left her broke and a head-on drunk driving accident left her badly injured. She died in 1944 at the age of 51. Biographer David Outerbridge wrote, what makes Marion Hollins interesting and important for our or any time is that she was one of the rare human beings who found reward in the achievement itself with no further external need for confirmation or applause. Marion Hollins was finally recognized for her contributions to the game of golf, inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame alongside Tiger Woods on March 9, 2022. So now you know the rest of the story. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Steve, and as usual, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.